Hi everyone, welcome back. But if you are new, my name is Helen and I share loads of yoga videos on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed. So today is a very short tutorial on cat cow pose or cat cow stretch that we see a lot in yoga classes. And often we just kind of say, go into cat cow and kind of take for granted that maybe um, a lot of people know what they're doing, but some people might not actually kind of really understand or be able to articulate that movement yet. So this is what this tutorial is for. So for cat cow, we start in a all fours position. So the hands are right underneath the shoulders. So wrists underneath the shoulder, like so you don't want them forward, you don't want them too short. So your arm is uh, at a right angle to the floor. And then the knees are underneath the hips. So if they're too close, you find you won't have space. And if they're too far away, it's going to feel like <laughs> a lot in the hips. So just make sure you've got your setup here. You want to keep your elbows a little bit soft. So there's a little bit of buoyancy here. You can do whatever you want with the feet. You can either keep them tucked or have the tops of the feet pressing onto the mat. Totally up to you. So on your in-breath, we're going to come to cow pose. So as you inhale, fill up your belly and let your belly drop to the floor. And then just see what happens here. Lovely. And then see if you can exaggerate it. So as you inhale next, see if you can squeeze your shoulder blades together and find more length and height through the chest and tip your tailbone up higher or your sitting bones up higher. Lovely. As you exhale, you're going to reverse that movement. So you're going to scoop the belly in towards the chest and up. Notice what happens with the rest of the spine. So now the head is going to drop down. The tailbone is going to tuck under. Lovely. You feel that stretch through the upper back um, shoulder blade area. Good. Let's try that again. So as you inhale, fill up your belly and let it drop to the floor. See what the rest of the spine does and then exaggerate it, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Shoulder blades draw away from the ears, tailbone up. Lovely. As you exhale, scoop the belly in. So it's like you're pushing the air out of the belly. Empty, empty, empty. Belly scoops up, head drops down. Wonderful. In your own time. Inhale, drop your belly, fill it up. Fill up the chest, look to the sky, tailbone up. And then as you exhale, empty the air out, pull your belly up. And then you'll see that the rest of your spine follows suit. So your head drops down, tailbone drops down. Nice. Couple more times. Inhale, dropping the belly, shining the heart forwards and slightly up as you drop that belly. Tailbone tips to the sky. Don't forget about that tailbone. And then as you exhale, empty, empty, empty out the belly. Push, push, push all the air out. Shoulder blades to the sky. Head drops down. Wonderful. Inhale to a neutral place. And just notice how you felt there. So even though it looks like quite a simple movement, it is quite a lot happening. Um, so just be kind to yourself and keep practicing. I often see that a lot of people just do the movement with the neck. So they end up just moving the head. But actually, if you think about it coming from the belly, going down and up, you'll find that the rest of the spine kind of is easier to kind of articulate with that as well. If you'd like to fire this up a little bit, if you want to make it more of a core challenge, you're going to come to all fours, spread the fingers wide, tuck toes, and then you're going to hover the knees off the mat like one inch. Now, you're not going to get as much range through your articulation, but it's definitely going to be fiery. So as you inhale, drop in the belly to the floor, look up. And then as you exhale, scoop the belly up, look towards your toes. Lovely. Inhale, drop in the belly, see how it's more... Uh, fiery <laughs> and as you exhale round it out scoop the belly up nice and release relax well done lovely so that's two options there I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial if you have any questions at all on cat cow please drop them in the comments below and let me know how you get on with that movement I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one bye